Hi everyone, good morning. Don't you get tired of wearing these masks? It's just seem to get in the way. And if you wear glasses and you breathe too heavily on these things, then the glasses are all messed up. <laughs> and you can't see what you're going. So, really, isn't it a distraction? We were given notice the other day that uh, we're going to soon be able to resume uh, conducting marriages, which obviously have been off limits until now. One of the restrictions is that the bride and the groom and the celebrant have to wear masks. And it sort of occurred to me, you know, you had exchange vows. Do you take this woman, uh, not sure if it's actually her, um, to be your wife and vice versa? Um, you know, we hide behind masks. You can't actually see who we are. The reality is in life, sometimes we do wear masks. We sometimes wear masks to either hide who we are or to actually show people something that we want them to see. I know that when I first started teaching, uh, I was only 20. And one of my great concerns was uh, going out and socializing and bumping into pupils because when I was socializing, that was me. I was socializing with with my wife. That was I didn't want to be seen as the teacher because in the classroom I was there exercising authority and uh, did not wanting to, to breed too much familiarity. And sometimes people also put on a lot of airs uh, when I think about uh, politicians uh, and so forth who, who, who hide behind their titles and as individuals you wonder what is really there. As Christians we need to be honest about our, ourselves and we need to reflect on what it is that we are letting people see. And we need to reflect on uh, whether what we are projecting is really what we want people to see. So let's consider the masks that we sometimes wear. Let's consider the masks that we shouldn't be wearing. And let's make sure that we are true to ourselves and to God. Have a wonderful and beautiful day. Keep safe. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.